Hello everyone, my name is Brad Riemann and I'm the uh, President and CEO of Inbound. I am uh, here today to show off the properties of our Ricci Concrete Expansion Joint and Forming Material. Uh, this product is sourced from efficiently managed forest and conforms to ASTM 208 and produced in accordance to EN 13986 and EN 13171. Uh, it actually meets the performance requirements of ASTM C1751 despite not having asphalt. However, since C1571 requires asphalt impregnation, it is not certified to compliance. Um, to show off the water uh, resistant qualities of this product today, I'm going to uh, soak it in water for a couple weeks. Uh, I will put it in today and then we will check in with it after a week and see how it's holding up and check in with it a week after that. Um, obviously, no one will likely be doing this with the product, but it'll give you an idea basically how durable this all natural product is. Okay guys, so here we are with the fiber board. We are now going to put it in. I've got a piece of tile here to weight it down just because it'll uh, uh, obviously float when I just sit it there. So now I'll put it, weight it down with a piece of tile and I will be back to checking on it in a week. Okay guys, we are back. It has been a week. Um, you can see the water's got a little bit of a yellow tint, which is not surprising considering it's had a piece of fiberboard sitting in it for a week. I've brought a base sample here to compare it to, so we have something you can see what exactly we're, we're comparing it to. Um, let's pull the uh, tile out of here, and uh, as soon as I do that, you can see that it's still floating, which means it's got a, well, it's it has some sort of water log to it. It's not completely, so it's still a good degree of buoyancy to it. Um, it looks like there's a tiniest bit of warping, which I'm guessing is because that tile's been sitting on here. Uh, and you can actually see the lines there, so it's had a week where it's just been pulling up on it. If you compare it to the original, um, it's got a little bit of expansion, not surprising again, um, but definitely, definitely still intact. Um, definitely looking pretty solid. I'll put it back in here and we'll check in with it again in about a week. All right, it has now been two weeks and we are back to check it. I've got the uh, sample again to compare it to. And uh, it is still buoyant after two weeks. That's the tile sample there. And uh, it looks like it's actually, it's actually been a little bit more compacted uh, from where the tile was. Uh, and it's still it has a little bit of that warp. It starts to feel like it's actually getting a little bit, starting to come apart there. Uh, but obviously still pretty solid considering it has been soaking for two weeks. Um, again, if you compare it to the original, it's uh expanded a bit but uh all in all it's definitely held up quite well um i'll go ahead and take it out and i'll let it sit for a little while uh and we'll see how it actually if whether or not it dries out um maybe set it in the sun tomorrow try to simulate that environment but uh this has been a pretty successful uh experiment with this showing how, how it holds up over a couple weeks in water um again we don't recommend doing this but it shows just kind of the durability of the product and what you can expect from it And we are back uh, after another day. We let the uh, the material sit out in the sun yesterday and dry out. Um, you can see it actually dried out quite nicely. Um, comparing it to the original, um, especially where the tile was sitting on it, it's doing pretty well. Um, you can see a little bit difference from for whether it wasn't sitting. Um, if you compare them side to side, it's also got a little bit more of a thickness to it, so it expanded a little bit. Um, but definitely ended up being, definitely is a pretty durable product. Um, you can see that after sitting in the water for two weeks, it definitely uh, still turned out quite well. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in to learn about our concrete expansion joint and forming material. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to us at info at inboundsolutions.com. We'll include that in the comments as well. Uh, thank you and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.